Hello everybody, Super here. Felt like playing the long dark today a little early. That's what I'm going to do. Ready to go. All ready. So the last time we played, we <coughs> excuse me, we adventured all throughout the Hush River Valley. We found some cool caves that I'd like to go back to. Um, we've got a bunch of stuff here that we may or may not be able to to bring back with us when we leave. But uh, for now, I'm going to leave it all here. I really wish I had a container. I think the closest container is probably that backpack. Um, by the left exit. Uh, boy, that sounds bad. I'm glad we're in here. Um, so the the reason I'm really wishing we had a container is got a bunch of little stuff that I'd like to put down. In particular, um, these cattails, 122 cattails. Well, I don't really know what to do about them except, um, except to put them in that bag. Um, I, I could drop them on the ground, and maybe they'd be fine. I don't know if dropping a hundred of something would glitch the game. I sure would hate to lose those cattails, though. Uh, and you have to pick them up one by one. So I think what I'll do is, on the way out, we'll put these in the backpack. Otherwise, I'll put everything in the ground. So we just got back, if, if to recall from the last time we played, we just got back into the cave. Uh, we haven't put anything away, put, you know, put stuff down. This uh, hunting rifle, probably going to drop that. So we're going to go back in the cave that we last explored. That's the idea. So much junk that I wish I could put somewhere safe. But. One of the nice things about the last playthrough is that we got uh, got this fantastic new side satchel, and so now. Carry a lot more stuff. Do we need to make water? Actually, probably yeah. Where's there? Where's there a fire? Surely we've made a fire in this cave. So I, I don't see, I don't think we've made a fire. Um, all right, I'm gonna make a fire to, to make, uh, to make some water. So, um, one thing I've been thinking about is we have all this junk. We have so much stuff just from this trip to Hush River Valley. Uh, hold on one second. Let me adjust my bar. Not yours. Um, we've also got a lot of stuff back in Milton. 
you know, to get it from Milton to the rest of the world means that, as far as I know, we have to carry it up the, up all those ropes. That's gonna be a thing. I mean, I don't know how that's gonna work. It would be great if we could find uh, a way to get out of Milton without having to climb ropes. But, and there may be a way, because I think there's other ways into Milton, but I don't know how to. I don't, I don't know how to do it. Okay, I'm not even sure where it would be. We've got all these cattail stalks. Good gracious. I sure hope there's no limit to the amount of stuff that can be in an area. Um, I'm going to go ahead and keep dropping. So we're gonna carry this lander back with us through the cave. I think that I think that makes sense. Um, Think. I believe we actually dumped a bunch of uh, dumped a bunch of meat back there to kind of uh, make sure we don't get attention from the wolves. I'm trying to think. So much junk. All these rifles, and tin cans. Huh. Sapling's cured. I, I wonder if the cave actually counts as, uh, as indoors. I was kind of hoping to use up one of these whetstones, but I kind of we have so many tools, so much stuff, it's, I think it might be better to save the West End because we might have to leave a lot of tools in Milton. And... Forty-two minutes. So yeah, so we'll spend the rest of the day here. Um, and then we'll head out to, uh, <coughs> back to the caves tomorrow. Organize this stuff better, but you know, there's just so much stuff. 
we can be overburdened when we head back to Milton because we can go around the longer way. Uh, and we'll have a gun with us. Uh, I doubt I'm going to be carrying two. One will probably stay here. So, I'm pretty good about that. It's, uh, it's getting out of Milton that's going to be tricky. Might spend a while. I, I don't know. So we still have to go to Timberwolf Mountain. Uh, and I actually don't know how to get there. So it may be worth looking up on the map. Like on the wiki. Uh, because as fun as it is to explore in this game, I'm not really a fan of wandering all over all maps looking for a potential way to get to Timberwolf. Um, and I don't know if it doesn't feel cheaty, too cheaty. We'll try to find a way out of Milton that doesn't involve ropes. I'd like to see what you all have to say about that. Alright, so we've got six arrows. Drop one of them. I'm trying to save a, just a little bit everywhere I can. Uh, drop. Jesus, probably 12 of those bad boys. In some games that have limits, it'll say something like, you know, the area around you is too cluttered to, to drop anything else. I'm hoping that's what happens here. Alright, if there's any food left, I want to go ahead and use it. There's no way we're going to be carrying 200 or God only knows how many cattail stalks. 300 um, all over the world. Okay, we can leave that there. It's getting... It's getting dark. I'll drop this before we leave. Let's go ahead and eat these peaches and this tomato soup. It's just a uh, bad weight to count. So, I believe that a full night's sleep is 12 hours. Um, and I think we're completely exhausted. It looks like maybe our condition's going down. So hopefully, we sleep through the night, we can get a good early start tomorrow. Uh, I forgot about that. I'm just pretty nervous. We had a pretty close call coming coming home from the last trip with a got caught in a blizzard. But uh, we made it. She scrapes it. bruises. It's very early morning. All right, 
these energy bars are actually pretty, pretty good quality. So I might put them in the backpack and start eating some cattail stalks. Because uh, these are more calorie dense. Uh, I'll put this in there too. Don't want to lose that. So yeah, the slot for the moose hide takes away our ear warmers. So we're slightly less warm. One, one and a half degrees. Um, and this thing can get damaged too. So it's a good. It's a good thing it repairs with cured leather instead of moose moose skin. Uh, but we don't want it to get destroyed because then that's that's all she wrote. We can't repair up, uh, out of that. It's starting to light up. Is there anything else we want to drop in here? Uh, otherwise, I'm going to try to put all the light stuff in the back. Of it. And then if uh, oh yeah, of course this. Let's uh, top off. And we'll keep, I'd like to, I'm just thinking it'd be nice not to have to make any water, we can drop some, we have too much, we don't need all this, so I'm just going to carry it, we can drop stuff if we need to. Um, this is going to be 13 pounds off, um, we have a lot of twigs. What else is making us heavy anyway? Maybe maybe we'll put some of the cloth in the in the backpack. It's It's almost a shame that this cave just it doesn't have even like a 10 pound slot. Uh, this is good. 10 pounds are back there. Alright. There's a snow shelter right next to the backpack. So we might hop in it and get our, our rest back up. Weather's pretty rough. Oh, it's another thing we haven't done is figure out how to get up there. We went, we went that way, and it just led us out into the middle of the map. But I could have missed something. Cause that's that's our best bet so far. Seeming, seemingly the thing that makes the most sense. snow shelter, well not ours, but you know. It holds 33 pounds. Uh, we'll put in a, lot, a couple other little things. Thank you. 
our weight is really terrible, actually. But uh, we have the bearskin rug, we've got sticks, we've got storm lantern, we've got too much water. So I guess it makes sense. Um, Look at that, 22%. This thing. Why can't I use it? Um, this thing, I think, wears down pretty fast. I don't remember it being so cold this time. Alright, let me take a look at something. So, once. Actually, kind of hungry, so I'm gonna go ahead and fill up on these cattails and maybe grab a couple more. I hope that we can find our way back to the cave. Obviously, don't really know this map well. Um, but I know the general idea. So this is the place we're at now. And uh, so if we kind of just go down, I think this is the lake. There's an entrance here. And then these are all connected. So like this and this. hour. I've been just waiting for the temperature to go up, but might as well get to sleep too. Okay. Wind is looking pretty, pretty rough. So we've got the deer over there. The wind is really rough. Uh, we might not be able to go out just yet. The wind chill is negative 40. Well, let's stay around here. And look up, uh, look up at this. I'm kind of going back and forth in my head. If we uh, if we stay out of the wind, it's, it's kind of hard to do. Let's, get, let's, let's do it over here. Um, we'll take this little path, we'll walk up a little ways, see if maybe there's this, like a scramble I've decided not to take or something, I don't really remember. Oh geez. Okay. But it is cold. I 
How did I miss that? Goodness gracious. This is uh, one step away from a blizzard. Even in the, what do you call it, the leeward side? Uh, still pretty cold. But it's actually, it's only one degree away from being warm. Um, so hopefully as the day goes on. It's better, but this is this is shitty weather. All right, so there is a scramble, but I guess we took it because that's the only path. We're, I'm getting distracted from our gold there. But plants have to change when the weather doesn't cooperate. So, oh dear. And we're in a blizzard. Alright, I'm going back. I think I actually go back to. No shelter. If we can. And see how warm it is in there in the blizzard. That'll be. That'll be useful information. Uh, problem is, we're getting wet. Also look at condition. It's 22 last time we looked. Um, so we're actually warming up. So it cancels out the wind chill. Um, and I assume there's some kind of temperature bonus just for being in it. So yeah, that's good to know. Let's... Let's take a nap. No idea how long it might last. Of course, it usually takes at least a few hours. You see how quickly we go through these things. Biggest downside of the cattails is just that they're you have to click so many times. Bad luck, huh? It's after it's afternoon now.
Still cold. Still cold, but uh, I'm gonna go. I don't even know if we can get down on this side. I think I think I can manage it somehow. So she sprained her wrist. <clears throat> All because I'm too lazy to go around. It takes a long time to go around. I'm just waiting till we get to flat ground to deal with it. Um, so I've got a bunch. I've got a bunch of these these dudes. Actually, I should have grabbed it from that last spot. What the hell is that? Oh my god! It scared the crap out of me. So we need to go to this kind of northeastern, maybe northish, and then turn right. So I think that's kind of this way. Um, And the weather has been really bad recently, so I'm gonna just go ahead and grab a couple more sticks. We've got a piece of fur, so I think that's enough. But we're gonna go to the end of this lake. Hopefully, it looks like the map. Oh! Big. The region seems a whole lot bigger, I think, than it is. Um, I think this is still a big region, but when you don't know where things are, it seems a lot bigger. back to these cakes is that uh, I get the impression we didn't see very much of them. So I don't really know, but uh, we stumbled through that water, and then the priorities kind of changed as we were drenched. All right, so my guess is that this is the north end. If we want to make a fire, now would be the time.
So see that big boulder? I'm thinking that might be this. it and make a fire. Just in case something happens while I'm cooking. Uh, in terms of the wind. Let's use... There's a lot of things that I need to learn and remember. The, the burn time of different woods. I know, I think fir is less than cedar, but I don't know fir compared to sticks. Sticks aren't fantastic, but they're not bad either. Probably fir burns longer, but I don't know. Well, Can't blame him for being hungry. Okay. Hour five. Which might not be worth it, but this is what I'm doing. So yeah, let's see, let's see where we are. That's just good. I don't need to touch it, so let's go ahead and spend 15 minutes mapping. Hopefully it'll pop up right where we expect it to. Well, it's centered here, so I think the cave could be on this rock. Found the gun, I think. Yeah. Well, fuck. Let me see. So that's this. So that's not the same. This isn't part of the cave system now. We've got, we've got to pass the Hush River. So from the cave exit, we take a left and then go in that direction. It's going to be trickier than I thought. Uh, I thought it was really close. I mean, we've crossed this a couple times now. And that means that there's actually a lot more caves out here that we haven't mapped. Uh, in my head, we mapped when we stepped outside. But 
but I guess the question is, so that, yeah, I don't know. Either I'm misremembering, or there's another cave entrance here. We've still got a pound of venison. Uh, I think we have to. Actually, I could use it as bait. Let, let's try seeing how that goes. Uh, 26, 16, I can't take any more torches, but I want the coal. I was hoping to be inside the cave before nighttime. Well, it is an adventure. What's that sound? Come on. Okay. So, I... Uh, so, if this is... So... Let's go around this way, see if there's a cave entrance over here. It's also... Maybe that's this. Yeah, so I think this is the same cave, but it's not connected, you know? still around. <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> uh. I feel like that's kind of weird behavior. Uh, he didn't snarl or... growl or, or, or attack until we got really close. Good lord, that scared me. All right, so I'm I'm pretty confident that we're here, says corpse. So what we need to do is take a left and go straight. Uh, it's getting late. I think it'd be dangerous to do it, but it's not that late. It's just dark. Our condition's pretty low. I mean, it's been lowered. 
So, yeah, we take a left. Maybe. I wonder, this, this wolf, I think that's where the cave entrance is. The problem is it's covered in water. That's, that's it, because that's why it says wolf carcass. That's the one we killed. But it just doesn't say cave. Alright, well there's the wolf. I don't know what this is. Maybe this is this. Okay, this is just here. So, if we go towards the waterfall sound... Um, of course I want to... chop Mr. Wolf up. Resisting. Yeah, so we're gonna we're gonna follow this around and look for the entrance. Look for the waterfall. It's such a waste. I mean the wolf attacked us and damaged us and we don't get to eat him. Yeah, this is um, this is where we came out and got wet. All right. Oh. So my here's my plan. Let me get uh, stuck here. My plan is um, to get a bunch of wood. Go back through the entrance and uh, try not to get wet. There's like a little hole. Maybe we can escape through. <sighs> Problem is we've gotten trapped now into the river, so there's no wood to be had. Um, the the wood, of course, is the backup plan. If we get soaked, we'll just make a make a fire once we're in the cave. But, interestingly, we've, we've been here, so we're here now. So, you know, if we're really good navigators, we can go hang a left, slight left and go into the other cave entrance. Change, ch uh, plans keep changing, you know. I don't know if we can get over this rock to the left, though. I believe where we are is where we went um, when we managed to get to the smoke signal. When we set out, we headed down this path and then eventually went to the right. I think. And that's why we've uh, picked up the cat tits. Well, I really goofed it up by falling down without getting the wood.
Alright. I'm just gonna go back to the cave. I don't think I can get up there. I'm a little surprised there's no wood. Be a mistake. But. I hope I didn't get turned around. I think this is going back where we came from. Dark day today. That's, that's the waterfall. Um, should be a wolf out front. Wolf carcass. Another blizzard? Two blizzards in one day? I think this is dairy. Man, I must have been panicking if I left all these. Uh, Cattails. So we got all of his meat. Where did I leave it? I don't know. Huh. Okay. So it's probably going to splash me, but there's like a hole here. Yeah, I think it necessarily splashes you. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, okay. Well, we pass through water to get to this exit. So, what I'm concerned about is uh, if I build a fire here, we're going to get wet again. Oh no, don't do it with the torch. I just wasted a lot of fuel. Man, I just wasted a lot of 45 minutes worth. Uh, all right, which wall do we follow? So when we went through here originally, we followed the left wall. Um, I think I'm going to just keep following the left wall. That should bring us to new places. 
Um, and what I'm really hoping for now is some lantern fuel. That's kind of wasted it. Of course, I'm not worried. We have to. We've got two flares. We can make torches. Um, yeah, so this is what I remember. We, we passed through this. And maybe I can... No. So there's two... Two of them you have to get. I'm glad I didn't make a fire. Get back into the cave proper. And, uh... Away from the water stuff. So this, I, I don't know if we've actually been here. Um, I think maybe we saw it. But it wasn't on the left path, so... Left, 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 left. Uh, get anything I can use to make a fire. Takes a long time to get dry. This is just going to bring us back to where we uh, originally entered the cave system, uh, which I think was just near the smoke signal. Uh, could be we get lost in the circle. Climbed a very small rope down to a little area with two dudes who had actually one had killed the other one. Uh, so probably, probably, oh yeah, probably we won't leave that way unless we go through them again. tear up those work pants. They're big and heavy and not particularly good. Yeah, so here's the here's the dudes. Um it's definitely possible that we miss something. I don't want to go back through the water if I can help it. So, the question is where did we enter the caves originally? And if the backpack, I mean, if the fire thing was here, I think we, we went down a river a little ways, maybe it was over here. I don't know.
but I think I'm gonna try climbing up the road um, after we after we sleep. Dry off, cook. Um, I don't think we need water, but maybe I'll make like 14. Are we standing on a corpse? I think we are. Okay. None of that went as expected. Five, one hour, eleven. Yeah, definitely makes some more walk. One scratch from a flashlight, that is... But what am I going to do with this flashlight? I, I, we've got like five, we've never used any. hours, 20 minutes, how long does it take to... Get a piece of cotton out of this, a piece of uh, cloth. carry these torches till we get out of the cave, just in case. So we found this balaclava, which is great. I think that's our only other balaclava. Um, probably, I think I'm going to repair the tooth while we're here. So that's...
good gracious, that's it takes so long. Let's put uh, let's let's get rid of all this water. I We can at least get outside without going through that water again. Whether we can actually make it home, I don't really know. Uh, I don't know if there's any way. For some reason in my head, I thought we had stepped outside more than once. I think we did, right? We had stepped outside and found ourselves in a place we had been before. And I took a drawing. And I feel like that's what this is. Um, and so I'm hoping if we can make it here. So that's actually probably back where we just were and not the rope. But I'm going to go up the rope. We're going to finish searching that, hopefully map that uh, exit when we get to that, and then come back through. All right, so that's, that's kind of a plan. That makes, that makes a little bit of sense. Oh, I should use the soda. Uh, definitely enough water. I'm going to go ahead and lay down. I, I would assume that the water continues to go away. So 53% while you're sleeping. Let's, let's see. Okay, we're almost dry. Um, I feel like I don't need to put more water, more wood on the fire. And I really don't need the water, so I'm gonna just go back to sleep. I think you get coal based on the length of the fire, so we should get a fair good bit of coal. It's early morning. Sleep one more hour because we're going to climb this road. see something. And we're underweight, so... Left. 
Um, I got the feeling back there in that last place that there actually were loops, circles. There's, there's an ex there's an exit. Looks like so it looks like this is a really small part of the cave. And most of it is down below. But I'm going to step out so that we can map. So I'm pretty sure, I, I don't know, I'm just going to do it. Aha! Okay, so this is this is another place. So we followed this river up, found this, um, stepped out of here, and then finally down to here. So there are, alright, so it's somewhat corresponded to what I remember. But I actually thought this one was behind a waterfall too. It wasn't really, it was just near a waterfall. Um, I'm not going to stay out here too long. So, I think, uh, I think the plan then is to find our way to the other exit. It doesn't have water. Follow left, we can do it. Because that's how we did it originally. Man, I, I waste all this fuel and now we're going to run out of uh, light. Surprised we never found any fishing spots on this map. Being so outdoorsy. runs out, I'm going to switch to torches. I 
feel like flickering. It's just a kick me when I'm down kind of thing. It's already bad enough I'm going to run out. We might be missing something because I'm following a left wall, but I, I without like a tether or something, I'm not going to go. Uh, jumping all around. Take rose bushes. Rose bushes. Hey. So I'm pretty confident that we're here. So we need to go towards the river. We need to go to the right and straight, I, I think. It's early morning. It's cold. I see a wolf. sure how accurate that map's cave direction is, but so it does look like a valley. And rivers go through valleys. This looks interesting. Doesn't there's a wolf up there, but I think it's eating something else. find anything that we hadn't already found. But uh, I think we understand a little bit better about how the caves are connected. Where's that bridge? This is where we ran from the second blizzard last time we played. Uh, I need to find that bridge there.
Is that it? How the hell do I get to that? I fully expect another blizzard, which is why I'm still picking up sticks. This map is trying to kill us. Yep. can't even get to it. Well, now I'm confused, because I recognize this place. How do we get out of here? I'm going to go to the... I'm going to go to the mountain and hug that. Because I don't want to go out into the middle of the map. How do we... How do we feel like I remember this. I mean, we've definitely been here. Ah! There we go. Tricky. a little steep, but I'm hoping I can climb. Okay, this is the bridge I remember. Uh, we were being chased by a wolf. So, I see a bunch of lichen. Uh, we didn't have the opportunity to pick it up last time. Or the height, maybe? We're too short. Good timing, though. Tantalize. Ah, here's the Here's the bridge we saw from the other side. Where does this, where this what's on this little island up on there? I don't really see anything. Some wood. I thought there might be a backpack or something. No more sticks.
All right, I th I think this will just lead us to the exit. Uh, I don't think there's anything tricky to do. So we still haven't figured out how to get to that area above the cave. So I might spend a little bit of time looking for that. There's places we haven't been in this map. Um, that really long rope that we saw on like the, one of the first days. Who knows? That could lead to uh, that could lead to that area. It's kind of hard to know without just going everywhere. All right, so here, here's. Uh, Stair steps late. Just dropping some weight. I'm just going to, since it's a nice day and it's noon, I'm going to take a look. I feel like this is a good distance. Um, to see where the way up might be. Like, there's a slope over there. Let's take a look. We've got to go back to that backpack, though. It's a slope, but it doesn't look particularly easy to climb. Keep going around it. That's uh, that's our fire. So that's um, this, I believe. Finally cleared up, no wind. Well, I don't see any way up on this side, even though the snow almost looks approachable. This could be it. So we haven't been here. Um, you can tell by the cattails.
Yeah, it looks like this could be it. Is this really not a bridge? Guess we don't need it. Is that could that be scrambled? So to be honest, this looks, this feels like the little area that you get to when you go right from the starter cave. And I feel like um, the position kind of makes sense. But look what we've got here. I think we found it. This, it, this either goes back to the start, which is fine. Oh my goodness, Woo. Or this goes to some place. Uh, I'm not sure why the sound caught up there. I was gonna say this goes someplace new. I'm thinking this is the start. Yeah, I think so. So we managed to uh, to make a circle around this this thing. So it could be that we come from over here. Um, but since we're here, I'm gonna go drop off stuff at least. Could be that come from over there, so maybe if we follow the right wall. Uh, I think I think we'll do that today. The time is not going to be great, but. Other than, other than that area which we can't get to, I feel like I've done pretty much all I want to do. Here. All right, so Down to sixty eight. I think we can. Oh, just realized something. 
without the lantern. Oh, we have another lantern. Okay. It's going to be hard to see all the stuff and pick it up, is what I was thinking. So follow the right wall for I don't know how long. And then go back to the back. Yeah, I just don't know which from which direction we're supposed to come from. But I feel like we've been around this whole mountain and haven't seen anything, so. I don't know. There's trees on top of both. Uh, I don't know. I just maybe maybe if I get over here. Just made me more confused. I feel like there's a lot of artistic license taken with these in game maps. Let's check this out. Let's look oh, conspicuous. Just a, just a vantage point thing. So it seems that we're here. So so maybe maybe right is right. Like, it kind of looks like maybe there's a trail there. I don't remember any ropes this early. I, yeah, I do remember that crow call. So, I think you can pretty much be guaranteed wherever there's a crow, there's a way to get there. Oh, is this the this is the road? So we never took this road. This has got to be it. 
well. Well, now I'm intrigued. Um, I wish we had dropped off more stuff. So this is the rope we never took, and now I think we it, it's going to lead us to uh, to the bridge over the entrance. So there was a wolf here. Don't remember what became of him. We're pretty tired. And I'm not sure we could even make it to that first ledge. Or the only ledge. We could just try to sleep. Like, like I don't, I mean, here, I guess, some sort, sort of sh sheltered. Then I think maybe how do we even get down? I, I I might be able to slide down this, but that looks sketchy. Might be down here. Ooh, it's not. Yeah. So there's Definitely a chance I'm gonna hurt myself. Uh oh, wind's coming in. This looks like a decent place. Alright, so the idea is... We're going to rest up, climb the rope to the ledge, probably sleep a little more, climb the rest of the way up. And... I think it makes sense to go ahead and start sleeping. Because... It's long enough that it's going to wear us out, so we can do it, and we can do it at night. You don't have to see anything. I'll sleep in small increments, though, in case we get a blizzard. It's, it's doing these things that are really out of the norm. That can get you killed. Sounds like a blizzard. Uh. Oh, it died down. Whether finally had a lucky spell of weather. Okay, we're almost I'm gonna risk sleeping one more hour. I don't want the weather to get bad, but also uh, 
want to make sure we can make it to that ledge. And I don't know what kind of wood we're going to find up there, so we're just going to carry what we have, which is maybe five, four or five hours of fire. And make water if we need to. Um, I tell you one thing, I would never do this in real life. To uh, walking around in the uh, in the dark, with the lions and the bears. I don't think so. Alright, we're gonna get to this ledge. Nice. I love that they put wood here for you. Um, yeah, so let's take a little... Map, maybe get some light going on. I think it's just about morning. No, not really. It's nearly time to make water. This is a really nice spot for wind. If there's a storm. So I'm a little bit skittish about climbing up there at night. I don't know what's up there. So I'm going to stay here. Good place to make a fire, too. As much as I want to go up there, oh, come on. Oh. I think it makes sense to to stay here a bit longer. Um, got plenty of weight available. I'm going to make a couple tin cans of water. Um, my ultimate hope is that when we get up there and we go, hopefully this leads to where we think it does. And um, We'll actually be able to get down somehow. I don't, not really sure if that's the case, but without having the backtrack. All right, isn't this cozy? We need to bring all of our stuff that we've collected to this little cubby hole up on a cliff where no animal can get us and just uh, and just hang out
I haven't checked, but my assumption has always been that these things lose weight and you repair them. And I hope that's the case. Right now we've got snow. That's enough water. Um, so I'll make more. Of course. But I don't think it makes a whole lot of sense to. If we need one, I guess we'll make a fire first. Dawn is breaking. Look at that. So, it kind of looks like this leads to a place over here, and maybe also over here. So, I don't want to go on any crazy adventure. We didn't really prepare. We should have dropped more stuff. But I'll probably walk around over here to see if maybe there's a rope coming down somewhere. Or I don't know. But we'll explore what's there without going further. All right. And I'll do, uh, I'll do another sleep. I was hoping the snow would go away. That's about as good as we can hope for. I feel like climbing is the dangerous, the most dangerous thing in the game. It's a lot safer when you have a sleeping bag, but I, I think when you get attacked by an animal, your sleeping bag can get messed up. Alright. So it does look like there's stuff to the right. I'm going to take the left path first. Maybe there's two left left paths. It's steep enough to twist an ankle. Oh. 
on the bee. Uh, backpack, or this would be a good place if there's a blizzard. Maybe. Maybe it's too hot. Um, yeah, I'm always expecting stuff. Wait. mountains pass mountains what, what have we got ourselves into looks like a dude that could be the dude that the crows were crowing about Probably got a rifle, everyone else does. Um, another, another flashlight. I guess I'll carry it for now. In case there's an aurora. You know, we haven't seen an aurora here this map ever. Which is kind of weird. Could just be luck. Snowy logs, 30 feet high. I don't think so. At the very least, you go over like an inchworm. Snow's coming down hard. We're getting really soaked. I think that's our ticket, but I'm going to explore this a little. This just looks like it opens up again, like it's another big area. I'd love to find a place to get out of the snow. It's hard, it's hard to remember we're on top of the mountain.
some shrub brushes. Uh, on this map, the developers seem to hide interesting stuff behind shrub shrubs. I guess to make it so that you have to have a hatchet. Sort of looks to be going down. It might be that you don't have to climb this rope to get up. Just uh, nothing here. Very nice. Super. That's it. That's it. Um, all right, I think I'm going to take a just like a minute break. I'll be right back. Again. So, right now we're exploring this area that we climbed to get to. Um, the only thing that's worrying me really is the snow. It's keeping, it's, uh, it's uh, wetting our clothes. But it's not too cold, so I'm just going to keep looking around. I'm hoping this... Oh, look at that. It's another... It's another rope point, but I don't have a rope. So there is another way to get up here. Um, let's... Uh... Let's map it. Yeah. Okay, so that, that might be a shorter climb. 
uh, to get up here if, if you've uh, deployed the road. You know, what if people... I guess some people live in the mountains. I don't know. I've talked about doing an all-outdoors playthrough. Honestly, I feel like caves would be cheap. Like that cave we're staying in. At the start of this region is um, it's really nice. It doesn't have chests, which is would be tedious. But other than that. If you found one with a, a dude in a backpack, I think that would give you like 40. But still. All right. Um, I feel like this is sufficient. I mean, completely mapped out. So let's go. Uh, back to the other end. It'll get wet. I don't want to dry off until it stops snowing. But... Rope is 11 pounds. Uh, which makes it pretty annoying to carry around. You have to haul it up here from this rope, apparently, because I don't think there's any other way. Could be, um, could be that doesn't lead back to the normal part of the map. Could be that that leads to another interesting treasure trove. Um, but it kind of, it kind of looks like this is Just the normal map. The valley. Let's stay. Keep picking up sticks. I'm not going to. I have exposure today. No animals up here. That's nice. But I, even. As nice as this place is, niceness doesn't really matter if you're trying to live somewhere outdoors. This, there's no food. There's no. There's no nothing. A lot of wood. Oh, is this another cave? Looks like this one has that blue glow. I wonder if this connects to the other caves and somehow we missed it. Can you map underground? That would be... Oh, it's another instance cave. Well, 
Well, I'm definitely going to explore it. I think a lot of our weight is wood. So I can drop without worrying too much. Temperature's dropping. Possibly because we're soaked to the bone. Before I go in the cave, though, I'm going to uh, take a look over here. Which now looks like it's opening up to another field. Oh. Well, we we know. I was going to map the cave entrance. But... So we're heading towards the entrance to the region, but now we're up on top. Like this is uh, this is just what we were looking for. Oh, hello, hello, little sapling. Uh, you'll never grow big and strong because I'm cutting you down. So. I I would not have guessed that there was so much area up here. So I'm kind of expecting to see a, a tree that goes over the gap, which is um, what we've been looking for. And I feel like the spacing and the direction is completely right. Like maybe that's that's it right there to the right. Which means our cave entrance. I can't really see it. Yeah, this is it. So I, I don't know which to explore first, the ice cave or this, but I'm gonna go for this. You know what would be cool is if you when you went across it you drop. And then you'd have to find, you know, the, the other way through. Oh, yeah. If we wanted to come down, we could come down through here and then be right at the cave. Um, the entrance to the, to the level. To the map. So I don't know what to expect up here. Oh, okay. Got a cave. Lonely cave. Oh, that's a lot of stuff. Cedar fir. Distress pistol. And a flare. Second flare, third flare, fourth flare. Um, I'm not a real big fan of the stress pistol. Uh, the, apparently, the the nice thing about it is that it'll scare off any animal. Oh, matches. So it'll actually scare off a bear or even a moose, but it's really heavy, and I feel like the bear and the moose are the Boy, timing's good on that one, Jesus. 
Um, the bear especially is just not that threatening. Um, and I'm going to have to carry a weapon anyway, so might as well just carry the bow. I, I don't know, I mean... Maybe I don't understand what the how to use it right, but so it looks like we'll be staying here for the next little while. We could just go back to the entrance to the to the map since it's just right, it's like less than a minute away. But then we'd have to come all the way back up the road, I think, to get up here, so. Um, I think instead I'm gonna dry, dry off, make a little bit of water, I don't know, whatever. We've got enough matches, it's a big one. I'll, uh, throw a fur on. We've got way too much wood. So. I, I haven't been counting, but we've seen a lot of blizzards the last couple of days. I don't know if it's a myth that different regions have different weather, but it sure seems like this region has bad weather. So we have a, I know that we have flares somewhere else. I'm not sure we have a distress pistol. Um, it's, it's actually decently light, so I think I'm not going to drop it. But we have so many flashlights that uh, we haven't seen an aurora in the sun. I'm just going to give him the flashlight keep him company. We call it Wilson. Wait. Okay, I drank potable water. For some reason, I thought that it was still. Um, my hope is that it's still daylight when the storm's up, because I'm going to try to make it back to the, the ice cave. How are we doing? Plenty of water. Um, and our wet is still a little bit wet. Good God! All right, might as well make it.
if we have the fire going. There's no reason not to. Kinda looks like the storm is mostly open. Um, maybe. But we're mostly dry, so that that works out. Hundred percent dry. AKA zero percent wet. There we go. That's, uh, I'd say that's enough water. So we'll give, uh, we'll give this fellow a little bit, at least. Both of those, um, I think we can drop. Uh, I, we've got all this wood. I, I, I think I'm really scared because the last time we played, um, we really almost died if if we hadn't had just like that last piece of wood um, I think it's possible we might have died okay so we would be underweight if we weren't tired um, I think uh, I can leave a little bit more water. All right, let's make it to the ice cave, and then we can hit the, hit the hay. Uh, assuming, assuming there's not something else interesting here. Like... This kind of looks like a place, right? Can you can you climb back up this? I'm really scared that if we go down, we can't climb back up. That looks actually pretty steep. I may have uh, 
made a mistake. So I think that's it, right? Like, uh, back across this bridge. And when we're ready... Wait. Is that a bridge? Kind of looks like a bridge, doesn't it? Can't tell where it goes. Or if it just goes to the air. Alright, I have to have to try. I, I have to try. Oh god. Uh, I don't think it's a bridge, so... Let me head back to this one. Which is definitely a bridge. And, uh... Hopefully... Lives to tell a tale. Yeah, that's, that doesn't go anywhere. Um, that was... That was not a useful place to go. The bridge to nowhere leads to you. Timing looks good on the sleeping. I guess once you're inside the cave, it doesn't really matter what time of day it is. Um... sure if I would be glad or upset if this cave leads all the way to the other caves. Since uh, it's so easy to get to the map exit from, from here. But I'd, I'd be kind of interested to see how that's going to work. It does say ice caves, so... I just don't know what to think. I'm a bit wondering if... I'd rather sprain an ankle than a, than a wrist. So I was going to say I've been wondering if uh, everything on this map looks the same because I don't know it well, or just because it actually looks the same. <clears throat> There's not a whole lot of landmarks you can So, new location discovered. Um, all right, actually, before I think I think I'm just enjoying this too much, but I want to map the entrance. Uh, 
All right, perfect timing. We're uh, tired. And it's late. Hi, Valifar. Welcome. What's going on? So, I think because we've uh, sprained our leg, I'm going to go ahead and sleep for a while. Let me check our wetness. Huh? Nothing to talk about. Let's, uh, let's give it a few, a few hours. Valor from Discord. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. Yeah. Yeah, this isn't exactly Paladins. Uh, but uh, but I, re I really like this game. Have you played it before? Uh, it's pretty much about as far as you can get from Paladins, I think. Balance 1.3, yeah. I don't think, uh... <laughs> I don't think people would be too pleased. Um, alright, well, it's getting a little bit dark. I think, um... I think I'm gonna go for the torch route. Let's see. We've got enough matches, so I was being so ambitious. Yeah, <laughs> I'm sure whatever the next game they make is going to be uh, based on whatever's a fad at the time. Um, all right, I, wanna, I guess I'll follow the left wall. Uh, have you played their? Um, Realm of Real. Probably they'll they'll do like an open world shooter like uh, Grand Theft Auto or something. This is creepy as fuck. Oh shit. Against it, kind of for class shooters. Yeah, I played a lot of TF2. I really like TF2. Uh -huh. I think this torch is about to go out. Um, I guess maybe I should light the next torch from this. I don't know. I don't know much about torches. Holy cow, what have we gotten ourselves into? Play TF2 competitively. Get frustrated that out of the league whitelist and passes. Um, yeah, I, I wish there's a lot of bugs I wish they had fixed faster. Um, and a lot of stuff with the matchmaking and stuff like that. I kind of felt like there were only a few people working on it. Um, I think this is a dead end, but since I can't really see anything, I'm going to I'm going to switch to a flare. We have four, I think.
the cleaner does some commits. Yeah, maybe. At Val, at uh, at Valve, uh, I wouldn't be surprised if the cleaner writes code. Um, I I have to say I'm a little bit intimidated by this place. I'm really glad we have so much wood, so we can make torches, but um, I feel like we're in another really big cave system, and I don't have my lantern. Luckily we found some flares. Holy cow, where, where is this going? Candy bar. Uh, it's not. It's <laughs> cave base horror. It's not. Um, it's it's a survival game. Uh, generally, you're outside, but um, they've they added a new map in this in this patch that has these uh, a lot of these caves apparently. Um, but it's it's um, it's remote Canadian wilderness uh, after some kind of some kind of geo magnetic apocalypse there's no zombies or anything it's just uh, it's just pretty much you and wolves bears bunnies wildlife kind of stuff um, and the weather is horrible so it's, it's mostly like negative 20 and you'll have blizzards and um, you have to figure out how to survive. Pry bar, leave the pry bar. Lantern fuel. If only you had a lantern. Uh, so you have to you have to get clothes. You have to get food. You have to like we've made clothes out of a out of a wolf. Uh, we have a wolf skin coat. Cave looks like a good place to stop. Start a soccer match. Um, I, I I've been exploring, so I've survived for a long time, and I'm kind of getting getting to the point where I'm just maybe making some adventures and uh, doing maybe some unsafe things. So without very much preparation, we're we're exploring this cave system. Um, and it's, it seems like this cave is, is big. I don't know how far deep, how deep I am, but, uh, I've got four of these flares and enough wood to make a bunch of torches. Oh! We made it out. Hi, hey, young MC God. Oh, speaking of uh, dangerous things, there's an aurora. So, this aurora makes the animals more aggressive. And, uh, is generally pretty dangerous. It's also very pretty though. Let me, uh... Isn't that nice? Now, I don't know where I am right now, so what I'm going to do is uh, hop back in the cave. Um, how long have I been in the cave? For like, uh, I don't know, 15 minutes or something. Um, I'm going to sleep through the night. We're going to go out, we're going to map the area, and then 
make a decision as to whether we're going back. So let's um let's take a little nap. Uh yeah, so to go back to your question, Vala, um basically you're contending with like trying to find food and, and water and trying not to get eaten by bears. Um, that's pretty much it. It's it's pretty brutal though. Perfect time to steam some hands. Uh, I guess wolf, maybe wolf wolf ham hocks. Um, Luckily, I've got I've got a lot of supplies. Trick is to eat the bears first. So yeah, you can you can kill the bears and you can eat them. Um, they're pretty tough though. And uh, but but if you kill them, you get like eighty pounds of meat, and you can you can survive off a bear for like two weeks or something. So it looks like it should be nice and light outside. Let's. Let's head out and map the area. Why am I crawling? Well, the weather kind of sucks. But... Uh, okay, so we are here, apparently, and... That is really far away from where we entered, which is here. <laughs> so, I'm going to take a look around. Uh, I wish you could do that, yeah, climb inside the, the warm belly of a bear. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna take a look around just real quick, just to see if there's any more supplies. That rushing noise you hear are waterfalls. This map has a lot of waterfalls. And it sounds like we're right outside of one. On top of one. Yeah, we're right above the waterfall here. Um, so we could follow this river and get back home. Ha man, somehow I've been here before, but I didn't see this cave. Um, thanks for the follow, Bella. It. Yeah, I missed this cave. Look at that sneaky little cave. Uh, ooh. So I'm going to head back in, despite not liking the caves. Um, I feel like there's stuff in here. So let's see. Should we go for the, the torch? Let's go through a flare. Um, I think the cave is uh, maybe not really as interesting as the beautiful, cold, death awaits outside but um, you can you can usually find stuff in, in these caves like uh, well corpses mostly who have uh, useful items but I guess parts of these are very pretty I, I really like this blue blue glow thing
Um, I, I have no idea. I... I haven't even watched the videos. Um, he's, he's probably going to be a flank. I mean... I, I really wish we had more supports. I would really like more supports like Damba that have to aim um, and maybe had like, you know, tri skill trade off like that. But uh, he's probably going to be a flank. Actually, knowing high res is probably going to be a damage. They just can't really seem to avoid making damage champions. Well, wow, look at this. Yeah, he's fun to play. Uh, doesn't seem like there's anything. Yeah, that's what the that's what the numbers say for, for pretty much everybody. Um, everybody's always thought of him as a champion where if you're you're skilled, he's really powerful or something, but doesn't really seem to be the case. Uh, th that room is empty, I, I think. But people believe a lot of things. I think that's the that's the most frustrating thing. Uh, I think a lot of the people who Who think who theory craft about paladins? Uh, nothing's going to change their mind. It's a, it's kind of sad. Another rope. Oh no, it's not a rope. It's just a, a light shaft necessary to bounce around perception. So that's part of player experience. I I kind of disagree. I think the I think high res should uh, should correct the the misunderstanding. I mean. I think to make a to make a champion stronger because people think he's weak, but he's actually really strong. I, I don't know. I think that's kind of that's kind of a weird thing to do. Um, now maybe move some of the, move some talents around or something. I think maybe I could get behind that, change the way things work. But but to like nerf somebody who's weak because people think he's strong. Or vice versa. I, I think that's a mistake. Um, like like Grok, for example. So Grok's actually really good as a damage champion, as an off support. Um, maybe what high res needs to do is make him a damage champion. Because that's how people play him. That's how, and that he's actually really good at it. Um, I feel like I. Took a wrong turn. Yeah, he's. I, I really like the idea of uh, champions that support too. Like, I think what makes Grok so interesting to play is uh, he can heal as as not the main support. He, he can heal really interesting places. You know, he's not going to be on point maybe, but he, he's he's healing the flank because he's in the flank position, stuff like that. I like that. Um, all it takes is one willow to bring you to the totally. That feels. Um, 
true. Wait, is this where... Oh, God. Oh, I think we've just gone in a circle. Wait. This is a new place. Holy crap. This is another entrance. I'm going to map this. Holy crap. They're really, they're, what? So... Maybe I don't quite get it. Maybe it's maybe this is low and the fire signal is up there. But I'm not really sure. Oh, I'm so confused. I think we just must be down low. But now I really wonder if the, the areas are connected. I'm going to go back in. I want to try to come out the entrance that we uh, came in. And to do that, we have to find the rope. Which... We should find eventually, maybe. Um... But holy crap, this cave system is complicated. Okay, dead dude with a crowbar. Oh man, I, I think I'm going in circles. Maybe I missed uh, I missed a turn last time. Please, this is this is gonna be where we just were, isn't it? This is gonna be we just went right in a circle. Wait. This is the other place. <laughs> oh god, okay, well, So either I missed a left turn, or taking left turns doesn't always, isn't going to get me back. To where I want to go. Uh, but taking always left turns, that's infallible, right? I'd have to be on a... Like a, an inner loop or something. So I'm thinking I probably just missed a turn.
Yeah, so it's possible that that rope is somewhere in the middle and I'm looking on the outside. I mean, it's not just possible, it's... I think... I think probable. Um. All right, so the chamber with the rope. We've looked, we've looked at it. Could this be the chamber of the rope? Ah! Okay. Shit. Let me see if I can throw it up there. Alright, so we're re actually we're really, really encumbered, so I need to think we have to drop the spare bedroll. Um, I don't need any more wood because we're leaving. Let's see, I don't need any more sticks except for just a couple of safety sticks. Oh, actually, now I'll pick up the bedroll. All right. <laughs> um, I I I haven't wondered, but um, I imagine it's magic. I would that would be my guess. He's. Uh, I think I think there's. Um, you know, those crystals seem to have some magic to them. I'm really scared this is a completely, like, a fourth exit. Okay, alright. Hallelujah. Everything's good. We're going to leave this region. I'm tired of caves. Um, caves are... Caves are dumb. Um... I feel like, um, I feel like people judge Grover a little too harshly because if, uh, you know, if I carried around a club made out of bone, um, I feel like nobody would, would bat an eye. But as soon as a tree starts carrying around a club made out of wood, everybody's like, oh. So, you know, don't don't judge him too harshly is all I'm saying. Don't be so quick to judge. Oh man. This region is This region is really interesting. If you if you know the caves, it may be possible to actually go. It's kind of, it's almost like fast travel, right? It's safe. Um, I 
but I feel like you'd have to really know. Alright, that's where we want to go. Actually, we should go to the that backpack first, and then we're out of here. How do we get down? I think on the other side. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Um, if you were throwing human fingers around the place that matched the other one, I think you'd both start this person. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Alright. Let's try not to twist an ankle here. So, yeah, I think backpack first, and then we'll uh, go to the cave. I don't know, you, sh you should try it and see what people say. Um, people just don't really understand tree culture, you know, I think that's, that's the problem. Trees have, you know, a way of looking at the world that that makes wood just seem different, you know? So right there is, uh, is, is dinner. Um, Not too hard to to catch. Oh man, look at this now. After being cooped up in that cave, this is this is nice. This is actually quite quite pleasant. packing up to leave this region. Oh wow, it's ruined. So they, they degrade pretty quickly. It was 21% last time we looked. So nice. I like that. I really like the art style of this game. I think um, I think it's a little polarizing. Some people think it looks stupid. I, I get it. It's a little. It's a little out there. It's a little bit. It's a little bit weird. But I like it. need to uh, change the clothes on your arm though.
All right, we need to come up with a plan here because we've got like 200 pounds worth of stuff to somehow carry back. Um, I, I guess if it if we can get it down to a weight that I I can actually walk with, I might just walk and take the long way. Leaving Hush River Valley. Alright, so here are our spoils. Um, so I think what I'm going to do is just start picking up as much as I can. And, you know, we'll leave all the the jump, like the wood. Oh, click, click, click. So all this good stuff I'm gonna pick up. And we'll carry back the better hunting rifle. But I need the, the ammo from the bat. Clean harvest unload. So I'll leave behind the shitty lantern, which is empty. Oh, I can't. All right, so then. I mean, I can't. It's just it's just got fuel in it, but that's OK. Man, I wish we had this lantern back in the uh, in the ice caves. Hey, we've actually oh. Oh, well, here is where it cannot move. So some sticks. Yeah, so that's it. I think we've picked up every... Oh. Crap. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna say it again. Maybe it'll let me. I think we've picked up every... I think so, okay. But obviously this is not exactly a travel speed. Um, just 
just gonna go into this little corner and I'm gonna start. Dropping some stuff. So, um, cooking pot, we've got like eight back at the place. I think we have one of these back at the place. We're still at four with fire starting. Um, okay, yeah, all this water. I'd like to get down to like a hundred. I'm not sure if that's gonna happen. Um, I'm not. I'm not going to do anything with this flashlight. We're not going to carry a bedroll. I think out of the valley. Man, I hate. I hate just leaving it here. Yeah, it's kind of. Alright, um, One terminus size pip or a hundred pip size terminuses. I think I think definitely a hundred pip size terminuses. I think that's I think that's uh that's no contest. Um, Pip relies on his gun, and that's not going to scale up. A uh, hundred terminuses means you're going to have, you really have two hundred terminuses, because they can come back from the dead. So I think I think it's just pretty clear to me. Um, no contest. It depends on if it's uh, if it's Latin or, or Greek. <clears throat> self heal the mass. Yeah, he would have a high max health, but I feel like again his gun doesn't scale up. His gun he his, his gun is what heals, so that wouldn't scale up. Now I mean I don't know. I, I'm just, that's how I see it. All right, I think we'll leave this cave tomorrow because we need to sleep and uh, it's past noon. Okay. But we did it. We found the Hush River Valley. We pillaged the Hush River Valley. And uh, I feel like we uncovered quite a few secrets. Not having quarrels. I, 
That's one of the things that bothers me about English. I, I wish that um, at the very least its plurals were consistent or I kind of wish that um, plurals were done with a different word. Like everything else in English has done things with words instead of um, endings, but Uh, all right, 120. So this speed is kind of ridiculous still. It's all about growing up with something. Yeah, it's true. It's the uh, enemy you're familiar with or whatever. trying to decide whether to tear this up or to repair it. Um, I might use it as a light thing. I, I just don't know how good it is, so I guess I'll repair it. So it's kind of kind of shitty uh, water protection. I think we've got coats that are like 50, like the Mariner's pea coat is 50, I think. So, but actually, that's it's not as light as this. Not, uh, uh, not really sure what I think. Terrible German and Japanese. Um, so these tin cans, I think, aren't renewable. But they're also not super useful. Once you've got pots. So I'm just going to drop all those. Dabble in mandarin. Oh man, I love mandarins. They're delicious. Absolutely delicious. They're so sweet. Oh. Oh, I love mandarins. I've got a can of Mandarins in my refrigerator right now. Down to one sixteen. I could I could drop this. Oh actually, oh that was a mistake. That was a mistake. Yeah, that was a mistake. Shit. All right. I dropped my a lantern, and so I couldn't see to pick it back up. Um, whoops. So the speed is actually decent. 
I, I feel like we can make it, huh? Let's, um, I could drop uh, more water. Drop all of it. Yeah. So, if I pick up the bedroll, two of the cans, and then we'll sleep and leave in the morning. Actually, let's just go over here. Um, ended up making friends with some random Austrians pilots. <clears throat> I feel, how do we make friends with pallets in pallets? Like, every game I'm in, people yell at each other. As she gets more tired, she um, she can carry less. Time to get bombarded with friend requests. Huh. Either you're very good or uh, very bad. This game really usually doesn't have so many caves. Uh, what's up, Delvin? Well, Pallet and Screw is one thing, but what does the better meta say? and I can't find it. <laughs> I don't I mean... Paladin Screw still calls champions gods. I feel like I feel like not a lot of work has gone into the Paladin side of things uh, because it's copied from Smite. Pretty good. In ranked or casual? I, I don't know. I, I, if I were you, I would just play play ranked and uh, 
play which champions you feel comfortable with. I mean, the the ratings, the matchmaking algorithm will put you in matches where it makes sense. Um, if you're an average player, you get paired up with average players, generally, generally speaking. All right. So here's what I'm going to try to do. Um, I can't go down the rope to make it back to the house. So um, we're going to take the long way around, which I've never actually done before, but I think I know how to do it. Um, we've only come the other direction. If I follow the road, it would be easy, but I think that takes even longer. Um, competitive CF2, like in client competitive or esports competitive? Okay. Well, yeah, but ranked ranked mode is not esports. I think that's the. That's the thing, right? Um, you gotta remember that there's a full um, normal distribution of players playing ranked. From uh, horrible to to good, and I don't remember this. Um, you know, a lot of people don't think about it, but most of the games that take place are, you know, not top players. There's plenty of uh, bronze matches. Oh, I see. Yeah. Well, suit yourself. <clears throat> casual is a different. The, the only reason I say is casual is definitely a different game than ranked. Um, not just because you have mirror compositions. Um, people just play differently. There's, there's different compositions in general. A lot fewer tanks. And people play differently. Alright, we're making it back to civilization, everybody. It's been two streams that we've been out in the wilderness. But look at this, we've got a bridge, we've got a road, sort of, almost. Um, and look, there's a person. No, just kidding. You don't want to one-trick it. Yeah. Yeah, you definitely need to know how to play multiple. I I play um, mostly Ying, but a lot of times I can't play Ying, sadly. Oh shit! So we've got a wolf. He happened to be he happened to be frightened of us, um, which happens like one in I don't know twenty times. But uh, problem is he ran off in the direction we need to go. Um, our house is up. Okay, so yeah, so he's back. So I'm gonna let him come out on the... Oh god, there's two wolves! Well, 
Um... All right, he didn't cut us too deep. So, I shot an arrow, and then it, it was pretty bad. I kind of think it hit his back. What, why, why, why is everybody attacking me? I, what did I do? What did I do to people? Now that one hit its mark. Um, I I have I don't even care. Um, screw you, guys! I'm taking your meat. I'm taking your hide. Um, even though I'm carrying a jillion things, you're mine, and I'm gonna eat you. Um, now we've. We've lost that first arrow. I I hope it's stuck in the wolf. But we have to find it. Because I don't see it on the bridge. So, let's see where he died. Follow the blood trail. Um, stop making excuses. Yeah, I mean, just just play. It's no, it's no big deal. If you want to, if you don't, it's okay. Nara. Yeah, Nara's pretty solid. I like Nara. Um, I lost the trail. Has anybody seen? Wait, seriously, where did the blood go? Could have a stank power zone, please. please. Um. I mean, maybe. I think, uh... I don't really know. No, 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 really, come on, no. That wolf's hurt. That's my wolf. I think. Or maybe he's just looking at the snow. No, come back. Um, no, really, Mr. Wolf. I mean, you've got my meat. But I want to get that arrow that... can't tell if he's hurt, if he's limping or not. He's walking pretty fast. Let's, um, let's drop off and then look for the arrow. So we did an experiment when we left. Put some meat in the freezer and some meat on the porch. Um, these were 89 when we left. They're actually only 86 now. But they were staying outside and Let's see what the one's inside. Look like. It 
66. Well, um, they sure do last longer outside. All right, that is official. Whew. It's good to be hungry. Um, yeah, I have no idea. I, I have no idea how to play Inara. She's... Seems hard to me. Um, I feel like she's got a lot of life, and that works for her. Uh, but other than that, I have no clue. Um, generally, I try to figure out what someone is good at and then just build a deck around it or build a playstyle around it. But I, I don't know anything about... really don't know anything about playing Paladins. just know how to do statistics. Jesus, we, we really didn't need to carry back this gun. And I'm triply stupid for not realizing that uh, I had the gun instead use the bow. But it is what it is. But yeah, it's actually early enough that we should be able to look for that wolf. actually leave the Moosehide Satchel un unless we're traveling because I don't I don't want it to wear out I, well yeah I think I think that's what I'll do maybe that's Maybe that's silly, but put away the heavy sweater. Uh, I think that's it for the clothes. So let's see. Just drop the skin. All this is cured. goes in the cabinet. Okay. So it's feathers, um, cloth, I think we can put all of it away. Bear skin bedroll. So 
So let's take out the rope just to get the... To free up the space. Put the rope on the table. So, uh, antibiotics, probably don't need those. Okay, 61. All right, cattails. Um, I think I want to move them. So cattails are going to go in uh, in this cat. This is just all cattails. thing weighing us down now is the meat. Um, one, one second. It's, it's been a while since I've been able to put stuff away. And it, uh, it always, it's always nice to tidy up. Kind of put things in order. Um, okay, let me look and see what. Um, play more aggressively. Uh, I think a lot of times, I think I think a lot of champions should play aggressively, um, but it's funny because a lot of people are too aggressive, but you need to be aggressive. Certainly. Like, people don't zone and stuff like that, and that drives me crazy. Um, yeah, the flankers. Yeah, yeah. Anara kills me a lot as Ying, because she'll keep me from teleporting away. It's really annoying. Flank, flanking Anara is kind of uh, interesting, because she can't really escape, but... Um, Yeah, five five B ones. Yeah, I, I always whoever gets that first kill actually has a pretty significant advantage. Um, whichever team manages to do it. What made me want to do palaces? Oh, it's, it's, it's really not complicated. I I started playing palaces with Delvina actually. And um, and I kept thinking, I kept having questions. I kept thinking, gosh, how good is this champion? Um, that's pretty much it. <laughs> and uh, I decided to find out. Um, God, it's it's one of those things where if you had known how much work it was going to be beforehand, um, I probably would have done it. It turned out to be it's taken a lot of time. Uh, sure, yeah. Yeah, so yeah, for a while I just ran graphs for myself. But um, I, I thought other people would want to see it. 
and some do. Um, it's 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 really frustrating, though, to to run into people who insist. Insist that the game works a different way than it does. Um, so there's there's a there's a wolf around who just who just scampered off. But I'm trying to find. So there should be one dead wolf, two dead wolves, really. Um, one's on this bridge, and the, the crows help you find the bodies. But I can't see the crows because they're in fog. I just hear them. So the, uh, the one on the bridge we've already dealt with. Um, but yeah, it's really frustrating. I, I don't know, like... I think this, this yin thing is killing me. This, it's absolutely killing me. Um, it's every single match I go in. Um, people says people say that uh, being is trash and uh, is a is a throw. And I just don't understand. Don't understand people. Yeah, where they hear you hear something and then uh, you tell your friend and uh, eventually everybody's saying it. And when everybody's saying it, including you know, um, people whose opinion you value, the the thing is, is if you ask any of them why, they say, oh well, you know. You just know, obviously. Uh, I, I've just been in a lot of games with Ying, and they they suck. All right. So I don't like fighting wolves on hilly ground. So I'll let him come over here. Maybe. Oh, it's actually, it's too much grass. Oh, oh it sounds nasty, huh? Well. Oh, torn clothing, that is the worst. Holy shit, okay. Um, there goes another arrow. So, we're actually at half health. Um, we need to be careful. What, what did he tear? Bastard! Always with the ear racks. Yeah, confirmation bias, definitely. Um, because when they lose, to, it, it's it's really amazing, right? When they lose with the ying on their team, they freak out, and when they win with the ying on their team, they don't notice it, and. Um, you know, I, I, you can look, you can look at all the matches so that there's, there's no bias. The data is there. High res makes it available.
So now we're looking for two different balls. Uh, each of which has an arrow. Yeah, the unorthodox. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. E even if, uh, if just because people don't know how to deal with it. Maybe it'll, maybe it'll become less effective as people do it, but it's effective now. Um, and that's how metas develop. Someone figures out something, you know. But it's, people are so resistant. They're so group think it's unbelievable these wolves are killing me man I mean literally ah So I'm basically just going around listening for crows. Um, I I think I think it actually has more to do with the fact that I don't know. I, maybe I'm just jaded at this point, but. I think there's so many young Paladins players that, that it's just so much more about culture than it is about uh, fact. It's when you when you um, make fun of the emoji or you make fun of the ying, uh, it makes you feel like you're part of a group because you're doing it with all these other people. Um, that's that's how I see it. It's um, it's a bonding thing. Oh yeah, everybody knows so you know everybody knows so and so sucks. It's it's just like um, sports, where you know you have your friends who like the whatever the Redskins, and everybody likes Redskins and everybody hates on the whatever the uh, Eagles. And without thinking about it, you just say the Eagles suck, you know? It's, I don't, I don't understand. Of course the Eagles, the Eagles suck. We, they've always sucked, you know? It's like uh, 1984. You've experienced similar things in poker. Like certain strategies are bad strategies. Um, yeah, maybe, maybe it's not a young thing, but... Um, it, it's, it's way sadder to me to think that it's not... It's not chosen ignorance because of youth. It's chosen ignorance with with age and wisdom behind it. That's really sad. Highest level players are some of the least orthodox, yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, look at, um, this is kind of a funny example, but uh, competitive eating. Um, for years and years and years and years and years, people thought you could only eat so many hot dogs. And uh, a couple of people who decided to, to, they did all sorts of little experiments and stuff, just saying, well, what really do we know about how much you can eat? 
Uh, I can't remember the Japanese dude's name. It's like Taka, Takahara or something. And then the American guy's uh, Chestnut. But, uh, you know, they, they just destroyed records once they started thinking, well, you know, what do we really know? Uh, let's, let's check our assumptions. Um, it's, it's really funny because, like, the techniques seem so funny. Um, like eating the bread before you eat the... Um, before you eat the hot dog. It's, I don't know, whatever. I don't, I don't, I'm not a competitive eater. I don't know, but... Um, Revisiting assumptions. I, yeah, it's just. I don't know. There's so much goofy stuff because even even like Sky, for example, Sky is. I would say Sky is definitely a weak champion. Um, but if someone picks Sky, I don't lose my fucking mind. Like. The difference between the good and the bad champions aren't that big anyway. Same with the legendaries. Um, people are convinced that uh, Fusilad and uh, Street Justice are... Oh, here we go are, you know, abominably broken. Um, but that doesn't really seem to be the case. I mean, compared to his other legendaries. Alright, no, 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 where's my arrow? Bastard, what did you do with my arrow? Bastard. Psychological bias with people have to get sponsors on this. Yeah. I mean, that much is for sure. Um, uh, I've started asking people on the Discord and stuff, you know, what, what would it take to convince you uh, otherwise? Like, I, so, you know, I've had this problem for a year now, over a year. And when I started, it was, um, so Torvald was, was really strong, and Makoa wasn't, um, Maldama wasn't, just no data to support the fact that Makoa is strong. Um, and, you know, person after person just said, well, you know, your, your data is ridiculous, um, simply because it, it doesn't show uh, Makoa as being strong, simply because it says Torvald's the best. It, it's the same thing now if you go on and it says um, Brock is the best uh, healer, Pip is the best healer. Not healer, but support. Um, people dismiss everything based on that. And so, you know, I, I'm trying to ask, what, what would it take to convince you that Brock actually is very good? Um, and people's answer is usually just, you know, nothing. You can't convince me of that. So I, is, what can I possibly say? I, it's, it's, I find it to be unbelievably sad. And... That's, I think that's me getting too invested, but it's unbelievably sad. Man, 
Now, now I'm pissed though. I'm pissed and pissed and sad because we've lost two eras. Um. Personality factors, which are out of their control. I mean, it's it's definitely true that a lot of people aren't rational, but I, I don't like to think that they can't change. Um, for, I can't help but think it's it's just because somebody hasn't asked them the right question yet. Look at all this meat. We've got to stop uh, killing stuff. Yeah, I, I yeah, I mean, yeah. You're I think you've got a good point. Um but people are also I think we're more than our biology. I mean, people um, willfully use contraception um, against everything our bio biological uh, desires. Here he is. Also, no arrow. You stupid wolf! What did you do with my arrows? Oh, aren't wolves the worst? So every arrow is actually really valuable. Like it, it's kind of, it's really tough to make more arrows. Um, each, uh, particularly the arrow heads, are they're just hard to make. The arrow heads are very hard. To make. I guess it could. So I definitely hit that uh, second wolf, but it may have glanced. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure, sure. I know. It, but I, yeah. It's a shame that. Uh, it's, it's so difficult to say, look, um, you're following the grain to, you know, to be safe. Um, but look how much more you can get rewarded if you play rock. The, the problem is, the, really the problem isn't the biology, the problem is the social structures that surround it, which reinforce the norm. Uh, Sure, playing rock is going to make you win matches, but people are going to taunt you. <clears throat> and so you, you don't get that reward uh, the reward of uh, winning matches isn't necessarily outweighed. Well, I I do believe we've uh, officially lost them both. I'm gonna go back to this wolf. Um, 
No, that, so that's where I shot it, so the arrow would be there. And I'm gonna go back to the one on the bridge. Maybe it's on the bridge. Studying sociology. I think it works like that. But like ants. It's not, I don't think it's like that. I feel like, I feel like the variation in our species is well enough explained by the, the variation of the DNA. The, the Genghis Khans of the world um, who tried something crazy and were rewarded for it. Um, or why that gene persists. I, I don't think you need to evoke uh, sociological stuff. But that's just me. I'm not a sociologist. I'm a computer scientist. Sprander Anchor. Well, this has been a rough return trip. But, uh, yeah, so I'm going to go inside and get patched up. Um, you should read The Selfish Gene. Um, natural selection isn't really going to balance things amongst a group. I mean, it's, it's very unlikely. It, it's all about the individual. That's, so that's why the gene is selfish. It's, it's really not even about the individual, right? The, the things that our genes have us do is not necessarily good for us, um, but it's good for the propagation of the gene. Uh, but again, I'm not a biologist. But I, I would strongly recommend uh, The Selfish Gene by Dawkins. Very interesting. Uh, coincidentally, the origin of the word meme it's, it's very good. It's, I feel like it's one of my, you know, top five most influential books that influence how I think. Um, all right. So... need to repair. Um, we, we only have one piece of cured leather? starting books and never finishing. Yeah, I, it's funny because I, I didn't used to do that when I was younger, but uh, I have two books right now that, I'm, that I've started and haven't finished sitting next to me. I think, I think just because maybe I had more time for reading back then. I don't know. All right, well, we're, we're, we've repaired the worst of the damage. Um. 
so pretty much going to sit around, read, uh, and make these. Rose hip things. And then uh, and go to sleep. So let's let's do the reading first. Healthy enough to focus on research? That's bullshit. Fine. Um, weren't known for your energetic vigor as a child. Not a lineup over here, man. so much junk up. It looks like we've got an Aurora tonight. Alright, so that, that went from 528 to uh, to 1.1. So that's, uh, it's, it definitely saves a whole lot of space. And... Well... Look at that. Cool. So during the auroras, uh, all the electrical stuff kind of goes crazy, and none of it works when the when the auroras aren't working. Um, yeah, I, I just, I mean, the way that I think about it most of the time is just. Uh, the stats are for me, and if other people can use them, then that's that's great. Like, I actually wrote the thing that um, that gives you current match stats just because I was playing um, Paladins, and I was playing it on stream. I thought it would be neat to show uh, the balance of the matches and stuff. Um, and then I was like, oh, I, I can actually, I can make this a Discord bot really easily. So, yeah, I, I, I think, I, don't, I mean, I, I don't know, what, I don't know what the goal would be. I, I wish, I wish people would just listen to, to, to data, but I don't really care in particular about Paladins. Um, it, it's also the fact that, I mean, I'm probably making lots of mistakes. Um, but instead of people saying, well, you know, did you think about this? Did you account for this? Um, they just dismiss it. And so 
uh, you know, it doesn't it doesn't get refined or anything. But whatever. You know, I haven't really had any uh, competitive people come in. There was there was one dude who played on some unknown team from South America who uh, who came into the Discord, but otherwise I haven't heard anything from anybody uh, of import. Oh yeah, poker's all about. So a lot of the AI research, not a lot of the AI, there's AI research focused on poker uh, because it's super psychological, really st strategic. And uh, it's really hard to get a computer to play good poker, unless it cheats, of course. But um, There goes the book, which, oh, do we have, like, a trash, a trash can, I guess. Yeah, I I don't think poker can can be a solved game. Oh, it's fi it's finally clear, which actually might give us a better chance. The problem is we have a lot of food to cook. Um. I guess we found the wolves. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two, three, four, five. Yeah, I think I'll just cook today. We don't have a lot of wood. Um, I'll just cook one batch then instead of two. Um, yeah, that's what that's what makes it so interesting. Um, it's it's not really a game about. Uh, so rock paper scissors is another example. It's much easier to wrap your head around. Um, the human players of rock, paper, scissors that actually do really well in competitions. And it's funny that there's competitions, but uh, computers aren't particularly good at it. so much stuff. I feel like we just have to live in Milton because we'll never get all the stuff out of here.
Oh, sure. Well, um, you could definitely have vision, but I, I feel like even if you had, let's say you took you took humans and you um, <coughs> you have them play over the internet, right? With no uh, there's no camera. Um, that's still interesting, and it's still psychological. So now that we're around home, I'm gonna switch <coughs> switch to use antiseptic. And that's fine, I guess. I don't know how. Maybe not. I mean, that's that's the point of AI, right? Is to figure out stuff like that. Um, hopefully, that's what the computer would be able to figure out. Um, yeah, I mean, it's just, you know, the, I don't know, this is such a horrible UI. Um, yeah, I mean, that the goal Oh, no, no, not necessarily. I mean, the, again, the goal of AI is to, is to to have it figure out stuff, you know? Um, I'm saying it like, it like it's nothing, but... The question is how successful are researchers, how successful are people, but, uh, but yeah, that's why, that's why people are looking at, uh, looking at poker specifically, because it is so interesting. It's a, it's a, games are a nice place to start in AI, and there's a lot of work on, you know, chess. Um, actually, uh, Dota recently is a bot that uh, can supposedly beat human players in a slightly restricted form of Dota. So, well, somewhat restricted form of Dota. Um, So, I don't think poker can be solved. I mean, because exactly what what you're talking about, right? Because the the game is tricking people. I mean, that's the game. Um, otherwise, it's dice, and that's not very well. Some people play dice, but. Um, 
Yeah, so I mean, to, for, for it to be solved, I feel like there, there has to be um, an optimal strategy, and I just don't, I don't think you can have an optimal strategy in a game of bluffing. <clears throat> So all, all the stuff is put away, all of our needs have been taken care of. Um, I'm going to do one more look around for these uh, wolves just in case, and uh, I'll probably call it quits for today, so. Let's stuff on the snow. They need to make it so that uh, if the if the wolf disappears, if the corpse disappears, that whatever arrow was sticking in it uh, remains. Because I think what happens now is when he drops, if he drops on the side of the arrow, you can't get it. And I think that's what happened to that wolf on the on the right. I certainly don't see the arrow here. So unless it did something really weird, like fell through the bridge. Um, so, at the very least, anything you can describe, like raising to trick people into folding, um, you can explain to a computer. Uh, this, oh, and this is, this doesn't make any sense, but like the arrow kind of fell off it and rolled away. Let's check the other one. Um, oh, no, no, well, I, so don't get me wrong. I think that AI can, I think, well, there's a whole philosophical thing, but I think AIs can learn things and be better at humans than any, at anything. Um, I'm just saying whether it makes sense to, to, how would you define optimality? Um, right, it's general. I don't know what I want to get into or not. What I really want to convey is, there's no reason a computer can't lie to you. Um, there's no reason a computer can't consider you, your internal thoughts as part of its model. There's, there's just no reason. Um, it's totally possible. Um, whether, whether you call it, you teach it to do these things or whatever. Um, I guess that's that's up to you, but. Like, for example, the, the Dota bots and um, the recent Go bots that have um, beaten humans. That Go beat the um, 
can't remember what it's called, but this this Go bot beat uh, the best Go player, one of the top Go players in the world recently. Did I miss the wolf? Oh, here it is. Um, they weren't taught, right? Like, their code doesn't consist of things like if the opponent enters the so-and-so gambit, uh, then respond with so-and-so, so-and-so. Like, they, they actually, they, they figure it out themselves. Um, they were explained the rules, and then the, and then the computer plays it until it develops its own strategies, more or less. Poker night with less lousy AI. I I just want it to be uh, easy so that I can get the skins for TF2. So it was hard enough. Uh, it was hard enough for me. But I'm not very good poker player. Well, we got one out of two arrows. That ain't bad. Um, this one isn't magically hanging out nearby like the other one. Uh, but the same with the Dota, the same with the Dota, uh, the Dota bot. If, if I remember right, I think it plays about 18 years worth of Dota every day. Um, and so it, it figures out its own strategies. It figures out what works and what doesn't. It's not that it just says, you know, if this, do this. Um, it's hard to explain. But yeah, 18 years of Dota every day. Kind of kind of crazy. You know, some people don't play that much Dota. <laughs> I never really got into Dota. I, I, I find it tedious. Alright. But that's where I'm going to stop today. We've, uh, we've conquered the elements yet again. Um... Probably what we'll do now is we'll explore this region a little bit better. I think maybe past the farm we haven't done and to the, to the left. Um, and then we'll have to think about going back to uh, going back to the rest of the maps and maybe going to Temple of the Mountain. Um, yep, I'll, I'll be in Discord, so let me know if you've got any stats, questions, or whatnot. Um, and everybody else, thanks for hanging out. Uh, I will see you again. Bye.